The greatest question among believers, what is God's will for my life? What is God's will in this situation? What is God's will in this or in that? I want to I want to establish tonight some very crystal clear truth in your life. Because I am dependent like you are dependent on truth. The Bible says in Jeremiah chapter 1 verse 4 and 5 that God has a perfect will for every life, every one of us. Then the word of the Lord came unto me saying, Before I formed thee in the belly I knew thee, and before thou camest forth out of the womb I sanctified thee, and I ordained thee a prophet unto the nations. Now, please understand that God has a perfect will for every believer at the time of birth. In fact, before you're ever born, God establishes that will for your life. You see, when you're born into this world, there is the satanic plan for you and God's plan for you. The minute you are saved, the satanic loses control over your life. Therefore, a fortune teller can tell the future of an unbeliever, but not a believer. Because our life is hid in God now. Did you hear that? The only reason, the only reason people cannot discover the will of God is because they are not in Christ Jesus. The Bible says the will of God is revealed only in Christ Jesus. Uh, look at, uh, at the book of First Thessalonians chapter 5 verse 18. It says, in everything give thanks, for this is the will of God in Christ Jesus concerning you. Say with me, the will of God is in Christ Jesus. Therefore, you cannot discover God's perfect will for your life if you are outside Christ Jesus. You only discover God's will in Christ Jesus. If you are not a Christian, if you are not born again, you will never discover the will of God for your life. The minute you are saved, the will of God is revealed. Can I have your eyes can I have your ears, all of you? Listen carefully. God has a perfect will and a permissive will. Say that, please. Yeah. If you miss His perfect will, you will end up in God's permissive will. God's perfect will is full of blessings. God's permissive will is full of judgments. If you miss His perfect will, there'll be judgment on your life. If you are always in His perfect will, there will always be blessings on your life. The Bible is clear that before you are born, God establishes His perfect will. He said to Jeremiah, before you were born, I established you a prophet. But God gave Jeremiah the choice. Jeremiah chose God's perfect will. He could have said no. God's perfect will for Jeremiah was that he would not get married. Because had he gotten married, he would have missed God's perfect will as a prophet because of the judgment that came upon Israel. That was a tough decision for him to say yes to God. God's perfect will for Jeremiah is established in the scripture. 
and God revealed it to him. And we see the blessings of God on his ministry. But I'm going to show you other people in the Bible who did not choose God's perfect will for their life and were judged. But first of all, let me establish something about God's perfect will. You cannot discover God's perfect will instantly. God's perfect will is revealed progressively. Say progressively. Because in, in Romans chapter 12, verse 1, 2, it says this. I beseech you therefore, brethren, by the mercies of God, that ye present your bodies a living sacrifice, holy, acceptable unto God, which is your reasonable service. Keep going. And be not conformed to this world, but be ye transformed by the renewing of your mind that, that you may prove what is that good and acceptable and perfect will of God. Say after me, good, acceptable, perfect. Say it again. That means it's progressive. The perfect will of God cannot be found unless you find the good and then the acceptable before you discover the perfect. It's progressive. You cannot discover God's perfect will overnight. It's a process. But the Bible tells us in Ephesians 5.17, it says this. It says, be not unwise, but understanding what the will of the Lord is. Meaning, it's our duty to discover it. Be not unwise, but understand what the will of God is for your life. Search for it. Seek it out. Oh, how I had to learn this the hard way. Find out what God's will is before you jump into something. Now here's something that's very important. The Bible tells us in Romans 12 verse 2 that it is impossible to discover God's perfect will if you are worldly in your mind. Be not conformed to this world. Be transformed by the renewing of your mind that ye may prove what is the good and the acceptable and the perfect will of God. Therefore, if my mind is carnal, I'll never know God's will. My mind must be spiritual to discover God's will. And to have a spiritual mind, I have to be filled with the Word of God. How many Christians do you know that actually know the Word of God? If they do not know the Word of God, how can they discover His will? Be renewed in your mind before you can discover His will. Be not conformed to this world means it's possible to be conformed to the world. Be not conformed means you can go backwards into the flesh. People who live in the flesh cannot discover the will of God. It's impossible. Now, the Bible tells us only the spiritual mind can discover God's perfect will. Please say that. Say it again, please. Yeah. Now, if you are not spiritual, you're going to miss God's perfect will and end up in the permissive. Turn to Psalm 106. Psalm 106. We're going to read verse 10 to 15, Mr. Brock. Please, sir. And he saved them from the hand of him that hated them mm -hmm. and redeemed them from the hand of the enemy. Watch this. It, this talks about Israel being saved and being redeemed. So there's a lot of Christians who are redeemed and saved and saved, but keep going. And the waters covered their enemies, 
There was not one of them left. Okay, so God delivered Israel from the enemies, the Egyptians. Then believed they his words. Yeah. They sang his praise. That's, well, the, so after salvation, they all rejoiced, but something went wrong along the way. Keep going. They soon forgot uh, his works. They soon forgot his words. And, and that's not for his counsel. And that's, that, that's it. That's it. Read that. Finish it. And waited not for his counsel. That's it right there. They soon forgot his word and did not seek his counsel. 